So, I just bought a Dymo label writer printer for XL. Well, before that, I bought a, a one and said Dymo printer. We thought it was a 4XL for 4x6 printer. And when we got it, it was just a label printer for just uh, small labels to put on the letter or whatever. <clears throat> We, I ordered from Walmart, so it was wrong. And we ordered another one from eBay. It was La Label or something like that. I need to get the name. I, I will put it out there so you can know. And also, we ordered it as a 4x6. And when we got when we got it, it's not compatible with Mac. Because I have two iMacs that I work with. <clears throat> and so it was... It was useless. It couldn't work. And I contact one of my my coworkers that I used to work for and asked if she has a a label that I can buy or borrow or what have you. So we got the label and we thought, you know, just plug it in, download the software go ahead and print so we put it in trying to print the label it just print print this print that then another one then trying to adjust to the size from Facebook market eBay we keep doing that playing with the sizes just then the print this way and the smaller and that way from eBay and another one then keep printing pranks. So after three hours of trying to figure out how to do this thing, we finally got it it printed, but it's kind of pixelated thing. We figured it out with the settings, with the download the download software, you have to copy and paste, bring it in and adjust it and make the size, then you can see it. I don't want to show you the address to the place, but as you can see, we figured it out. I've seen a lot of people talking really bad about the Dymo label writer printer and say it doesn't work. Because I guess they was thinking exactly just like me and just, if you hook it up to your computer, you, somebody bought something, you print, um, print the label and it's supposed to come out on 4x6, but it doesn't work that way. You have to put the program on your on your computer the software then you go inside the the, the dino um program their software and you pick the printer and you pick the four by six then you copy and paste it inside their program then it will print exactly how you want the labels to, to look so i'm gonna show you how all this works out the new label i got i just hooked it up to the imac watching i have two imacs that i work with so we just hooked it up and like i was telling you it wasn't it wasn't coming out we're just printing useless we're just wasting paper so i just figured out how to do it so you go So the design and print label, so you go to the Dino, uh, not their website, you download the program to your computer and it will give you this page. Then you go to the Dino design, Dino online, and it will give you options of layouts. And you pick the four by six layout in your, in the shapes right here. So your labels here. And you pick the sizes you see they have four by six extra large four by six shipping the shipping label so you pick the one you want then you hit save then you then you insert and upload a label so you see i open in um is a PDF. You, you got to do some steps 
just to print on a dymo if you want to print let the label so you go back to your dymo label then you see it on top here it says it has the screen grab or yeah the screen grab so you click screen grab then you go back to your label then you select the label right you select it then you hit it will take you back to this part then you hit so you, sorry you do the screen grab again then you just highlight the label then you hit insert, then you click on the label, then you make it larger to fit the whole page. All right, then you hit print. And voila, here it comes. See? It came out. So you just do the exact same thing. You hit delete, you hit delete. Then you go back to wherever you're trying to print again and always like save it, like screenshot it or something or open it in Acrobat and just screenshot it and you bring it back to the Dymo label maker. Then you just screen grab it and you put it in there. So it took me three hours to figure this out and after useless wasting papers later we figured it out so i love it now so we're back in business all right thanks for watching the video also the same with facebook market you just go to your shipping orders you hit the shipping orders whatever then you click on it then view label so it opens the label waiting to open So the label opens, then you go back to your, your Dymo, then you can screen grab. So you do the exact same thing again. Then you hit insert. Then you just make it larger. print and it'll come up so as you can see uh, it took like a try and error it was like three maybe two three hours to figure it out how to print on Porsche mark eBay and Facebook market to print four by six because we were trying to figure out you just you know just plug it in and you go to Facebook, you just print label, then you pick the printer, four by six, then it'll print it. No, it didn't work that way. So we had to figure it out a way. And after playing around, <coughs> opening up the dyno, demo label, we figured out how to do it the right way. I mean, it might take two, two or three steps to do it, but hey, at least you're not wasting labels and wasting your time trying to order something that works but you know i like this it's fast it's easy and uh, i save me time and money and so thank you for tuning in i hope i gave you some tips or if you know better tips that will help me improve what i'm doing or save me time just comment on below and and let me know thank you for watching also watch up and coming we got a shipment coming in for friday for liquidation that we bought from amazon so we receiving some new packages coming in this friday so we're gonna upload this on the youtube at cobra files we are richburg resellers so check out the death row t-shirt and goodbye